the never-ending hallway. If anyone's ever stayed at Kadani Village, you all know, you end up walking forever and ever and ever. All right, hello everyone. We are heading to Epcot this morning. Our goal today is, uh, we're at the Food and Wine Festival, and our goal is to check out all the gluten-free options for Valerie and to test and let you know what's good and what's not. We got our map, we're prepared. Uh, we're also gonna do a little fun game of we're gonna try and find all the Remy's. You remember the rat from Ratatouille? He's like hidden in, I don't know how many of them we have to find. I don't know either. But there is a whole mess of them set up around this whole festival. So the job is to find every single one. If you do and you mark all the locations, you get a prize. Don't know what the prize is, but we're gonna do our best to try and find them all. So that's our challenge today. Find Remy and eat food. All right, we come to Mexico, and pretty much everything on the main menu is gluten-free for Valerie. That is the ribeye taco. Ribeye taco. And this that was the tequila is shrimp. Tequila chipotle shrimp. And, and the cajeta mousse. Cajeta, right. cajeta. All gluten-free for you. Yay. <laughs> okay, we just had the uh, shrimp one. Tequila, chipotle. You taste the tequila in there? Shrimp. Or is it like the flavor that's being cooked out? No, the spicy. <laughs> oh. <laughs> that's what I taste. There's a little bit of a burn. It's good. Yeah, this is spicy, but we found out it's the uh, the corn tortilla. Uh, when Valerie makes it home, she actually like puts it on the stove and burns it a bit, and it tastes so much better. Mm -hmm. But the meat inside is definitely good. All right, now we're going to try the dessert. Kind of um, flan esque. Oh, that'd be good. Custardy. It's good. It's very good. Give it a try. It's kind of almost caramely. Oh. Well, that's really I, good. Kind of flan I'm going to have like 10 more of these. Kind of almost creme brulee. -ish oh, that's really flavoring. good. That's really, really good. Definitely get 10 of these. Yeah. And you're good. All right, found the first Remy. He's on top of the uh, Mexico building. So that's one down. All right, we're at India. And the only thing here that's gluten-free is the Madras red curry, served with roasted cauliflower, baby carrots, chickpeas, and basmati, basmati rice. Basmati rice. Okay, we found our second Remy on top of the China building. Right up there on top, he's got a little pepper shaker. We found number two. Okay, we found Remy in Norway. He's up in a window. So up here, so he's got uh, some bread. Okay, so in Africa, we do have the, uh, the beef tenderloin chips, uh, gluten free. And that seems to be it in Africa. This looks good, smells good. Jalapenos, tomato, and pap. What? Pap. Oh, that would be the pap? I guess. I'm gonna call it rice-ish looking thing. All right, she corrected me. They are grits. Grits. <laughs> All right, so this one is definitely, definitely spicy. Probably too spicy for Val. It's spicy. But it's good. Yeah. All right, we found another one. It's on top of one of the outpost buildings. It's got onions. All right, here we are in Germany. We're next to the, uh, where they're having the Oktoberfest. Right up here, we got Remy. Looks like uh, some squash. Right, right there. Okay, we made it to Spain. We've got a couple of gluten freeze. Traditional Spanish paella and a seafood salad. <laughs> so it's mostly just a rice dish. Mm-hmm. Yes, no? Kind of an eh? Mm. It's a little bit drier. Mm-hmm. It's got some good flavors in it. The consistency is good. There's a, there is some good flavor. It just yeah. It yeah, seems the rice dry. just is, it's just the rice part is dry. Mm -hmm. Okay, seafood salad then. What on earth? Did you eat a mussel already? I did. Or oh. the mussel is really good. That was really good. I enjoyed that. You just had some of the seafood salad. That was good. But I think part of my thing is I love olives. And there's a lot of green olives in here. Oh, that's oh my god! That. Yeah, there is a ton of green so olives. So that makes life happy. So 
that is definitely a salad for you. It's pretty much a green olive salad. Green olives, the peppers, the seafood. Try it. See what you think. Yeah, it's not bad. One little tiny piece of chicken. That might be chicken. This might be chicken. Okay, little tiny. They're little very, very tiny. tiny. And they're chicken. like the same okay. colors of rice, so you oh, lose yeah. it. It's still going to be the dry rice. Mm -hmm. And dry chicken. <laughs> oh, dry chicken. Okay. So, so far, that's the first one that we like, um, not a We're fan not, of. Not crazy about. Okay, we're in Italy, right next to the restaurant, right up in the corner, there's Remy, right there, we found him, getting almost halfway, oh no, not even, we're not half, no, nope. we're close, but not halfway, 6 of 15, we're here in America area, and we found Remy, but he's right on top of the area to get turkey legs. Ooh, bright sun. He's right up there, and he's got the pan. We are in the Japan area, behind the big tall building, over by the pond. Looking up right on top of the rock right there, we found Remy, and he's got a carrot. Okay, we just walked into Morocco from uh, coming over from the Japan area, and the very first building we see has Remy right on top with the tomatoes. Okay, there is tons of gluten-free stuff in Brazil. Okay, we got our food. What do we got here, Mel? Oh man. Yeah, the one we can't pronounce. We're gonna go say that word. It's something the meat, little hidden one, layered meat pie with mashed yucca. That's probably that one. That's that. Crispy pork belly with black beans, tomato, and onions. And this is the Brazilian cheese bread. All right, let's chow down. All right, I just cheated and went straight to the cheese bread. Oh, yeah. oh it's so good. It's such like a chewy, gooey bread. Mm -hmm. It's all cheese. It's, it's, it is pretty much is all cheese. It's Remember awesome. Remember the little ones that I made? Yeah, so those are good. Yo, that's right, same thing. I made, yeah. This is like just a bigger version of it. Yeah. Okay, a little disappointed in the pork. Because it was like, half of this is fat. It's like fat a little shaker. sliver. It, it's little all, sliver of meat. That's all fat. It's all fat. So we only had a little bit of meat to taste. And? Good. It's a, it's a good nod. I like the nod. It's a good pork. They didn't overdo the pork. You know, it's easy to dry pork out. Maybe because it was so fatty. Um, <laughs> that actually does help. It does help. It does help. So I will not complain. But you know, it's really good. Um, I got a lot of the black beans, so I taste a lot of the black beans. I think I should have grabbed some of the tomatoes too, but it's good. Nice. It's not. Um, I'm not tasting an abundance of a spice or. So it's very light. Mm -hmm. Oh, bro, I like it. All right. I like it. That one's a thumbs up. Okay, that is really good. Mm. See what I mean? It's, there's no abundance of a seasoning that you're overwhelmed by it or anything. No, that is really good. But it's good. It wasn't dry. No, we did good. that's good. They did a good job. That one's a thumbs up. Definitely thumbs up on that one. So, so far, two out of three. We're doing good. We're doing good. Now, of course, that one we're going to, I think, like. I don't know what the meat in the meat pie right, is. We'll, we'll find out what the meat in the meat pie is. Oh, uh, will we? I'll let you know what the meat in the meat pie is. And the verdict is. That's a You're good gonna nod. I love that. I'm going to love that. It's like a shepherd's pie, kind of. Oh. That's good. Okay. And the mashed yucca. It's almost awesome. like mashed potatoes on top, so mm -hmm. meat and. Mm -hmm. so it's like but a meat. Better than mashed potatoes. Let's see how this is. Hmm. That is really good. It's like a it's a unique flavor to it though, the meat. Or is that the potatoes I'm tasting? The yucca. Yeah, it's super delicious. The meat is really well done, nice and moist. And like I said, the yucca, the mashed yucca on the top is just like it's almost like a meat and potatoes thing. Better than mashed potatoes. But it's better than mashed potatoes. It's really moist. I like it. Brazil is really good. All right, so we're in France. What France has got the uh, Merlot fromage, blah, 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 blah. I can't, you know, I'm terrible at pronouncing this stuff. And then the creme brulee. Start here. It's goat cheese and spinach. I mean, it sounds like it's gonna be good. That's, you know, as long as you like, you know, goat cheese, goat and, cheese spinach. and spinach. It looks kind of, um, looks like eggs. Quiche-ish. Yes, yeah, very quiche looking. 
Love it. Good? Good. All right, so my test. It does, it does look like eggs. Mmm. That's really tasty. That um, goat cheese really gives it that nice bite to it. Oh, that's good. All right, I'm pretty sure this is gonna be good. I have no doubts. Oh, it's good with the berries. It's not, well, I kind of avoided the sugar on the top, but. Is it raspberry or? Mm -hmm. It's not, this one's not overly sweet. Sometimes they can be really, really, really sugary. It's so. Of course, like I said, it's dessert. I knew I was gonna like it. Yeah. But, oh, that's really good. Yeah, house made raspberry jam. Oh, oh, oh. caramelized sugar on top. Mm, yum. Mmm. That's good stuff. All right, France. Way to, Way go, to go, France. All right, so we walked into France. We are like all the way in the back. Of course, by uh, yes. friends. And Remy is right up here. And he's got a um, eggplant, which is So, yeah, you have to walk all the way into the depths of France to find him. We just came into the United Kingdom, and you looked up in the window above Rose and Crown. We've got Remy right up there with um, vinegar, it looks like. Canada, we've got uh, cheddar cheese soup, wild mushroom beef filet mignon, and that one is gluten free, so that we can actually have for up on top right there. We've got Remy with some salt. We found him again. Mmm, the mushrooms are good. Mushrooms are good. Mm -hmm. Okay, we got a, we got a plus on the mushrooms. Mm -hmm. All right, let's cut it into the filet mignag. All right. Oh my god. That is really good. That's, that's a winner? That's one well, I don't know if it's a winner. We've tried so many things. But you don't get you don't often get mm. red meat at home, do you? No, I don't. <laughs> this is definitely um I don't know if it's number one, but it's definitely up at the towards the top. Nice. This is really good. Okay, Australia, we've got two things that we can eat here. Sweet and spicy uh, berry shrimp. The grilled lamb T-bone. Okay, over here we've got the grilled sweet and spicy bush berry shrimp. And we also got the pepper, onion, and um, snap peas. Nice. And we got the grilled lamb T-bone. That has a mint pesto with potato crunchies. Crunchies. Oh, we're starting to sound like professionals now. We're <laughs> sitting is, down. We're getting so full. This is going to have to be the last meal for a little bit. I'm going to have to take a break. I'm going to explode. I am so full. But I'm doing it. I'm doing it for you guys. I'm going to eat it all. I'm doing it for you. <laughs> Good stuff. Mm. Spicy? Yes. Yeah. How spicy is it? It's not too spicy. It's I mean, spicy. it's spicy, but. The piece I got was spicy. It's, um, for me, like a medium spice. So this is totally fine. I'm kind of noticing this just looks like potato chips crunched and put on top. Okay, so it's mint and potato crumbles. So basically, um, yeah, mint it's pesto. potato chips. It totally is potato chips. It's really, the, I tasted the mint and potato crumbles. That's really good. I didn't eat the meat. How's the lamb? That's really good. The topping's great. That's not something I normally would think to put on any kind of meat is mint. Mm -hmm. That's really good. I like that. We have three more Remy's to find. Three more, okay, so let's let's find our Remy's and get that done with. All right. Then we can let's go get that. our keychain. All right. All right. Sounds good. All right, now I gotta walk around and do stuff for a bit. We'll show you. We'll be back. We'll show right, you where so I'm is. taking a break and then I'll be, uh, you know, eating again. We are at the wine and dine section. We are right next to uh, Imagination. And right up on top of the Cheese Studio, upper right hand corner, we found another Remy. It looks like he's got the uh, pear. 
So drumming with the herbs. So we just walked into the Next Eats area. And over here at First Eats, we found Remy. Up in the tight top right hand corner. I think he's got, uh, what's he got? Zucchini. We are here at the uh, Flavors of Fire, which is our last one. So basically we already know what the sticker is because it's our last one. But still we have to go show where our last one is at. See on the back right corner. Right up there in the back right corner. Okay, it's official. We have finished the entire sheet. I feel like I accomplished something finally in my life. Finally. <laughs> Way to go. We did good. Now we have to go turn it in. One cup you want to. Oh, jeez. Comes up fast. Yeah, it does. All right, this is Brazil. Yeah, we don't need a lot. Our first coat from around the world. I don't know, I tried. Yeah, that's good. It's very tasty. Super sweet, it smells like candy. It tastes yeah. like liquid bubblegum. Yeah, this okay. is the Zimbabwe one. That's good. Flavor. All right, next. <laughs> South Africa. Bebo? Bebo. South Africa. South Africa. It's kind of brownish. It smells familiar. Oh, I don't know if I'm going to like this one. Oh, no, it's not bad. <laughs> Smelling it, I was like a little nervous, but that's good. Sweet. Apricot and passion fruit. That looks like what we just tasted. This is glass, is it? All right. Meh. You want to add some beverage? That was kind of bland. Oh, I don't really like that. No, nah, not a good one for me. Yeah. No. Nope. So this is from Thailand. Oh, it's green. I like that it's green. It's green. Fun melon flavor. Unusual. Unusual, but not, I don't like that one that much. No. No. It's almost it's like you know, shape. you know, like if you, if you eat a watermelon and you bite into like the green or white part of the watermelon, it's kind of like that part of the watermelon. Oh, not that pineapple. Pineapple grease. Okay, split that. Okay, this one no. Fancy right. pineapple. Oh, that's not, not bad. And it's caffeine free. The other ones, Randy's going to have to deal with it. <laughs> All right. Oh, God. This is the one. Now we're at Beverly. Oh, here you go. Give you a little bit. Bitter flavor. It's clear. Now, I'm Italian. You think I would like this? Oh, oh what a weird aftertaste. That's, oh. <laughs> oh. No. Oh, wait. Give me something else quick. No, what do you want? I don't know anything. Ooh. The Beverly aftertaste. Oh, oh it's getting worse by the moment. <laughs> <laughs> oh god. Oh, why would anyone drink that? It's a horrible, just wait for it, the aftertaste kicks in. What the heck? <laughs> <laughs> why did I think Italy would be like that? It's a weird girl. Okay, no one likes it. So if you want to get some free Beverly, oh god, or other free drinks, you can get your samples right in there at Club Cool. Alright, getting our getting We our get our coaching. reward. Thank you. We got a trophy. We got a trophy. <laughs> All right, so this is our little keychain we got. It's a Remy with a big spoon. Keychain. Yeah. Took a quick break. Went to Mexico. Did the ride. Love the air conditioning in there. I feel better.
the sweat kind of like is off me now, but I feel like as soon as I walk around for another five minutes, I'm gonna be full of sweat again. But hey, I'm starting fresh right now. Okay, so Patagonia, we've got another meal we can eat. A grilled beef skewer, gluten free. Okay, we grabbed the grilled beef skewer from Patagonia. Patagonia, isn't that in a song? Or what's this green stuff? That is a chimichurri sauce and I don't know. Looks like potatoes. Baniato puree, baniato puree. Okay, so it's not potatoes, but it looks like potatoes. Yeah, I don't know what that is. All right, I'm gonna be the one trying this. I like the green stuff. The meat? It's a little on the dry side. I think the meat's been warming for too long. Oh, it's dry. It's getting towards the end of the night. So I think it's a little bit on the dry side. But flavor-wise, this is some good stuff. No. All right, Farm Fresh, which we passed right at the beginning. This one has the roasted beet salad, so that should be good. And that is the only gluten-free on this one. And that looks, that's a good size beet right. salad. Right, it has green beans, feta cheese, I don't know what minus eight vinaigrette is, and toasted walnuts. That looks good. Is it very salady? <laughs> I'm working on my descriptions. Salady, is that, that doesn't work? Doesn't work for you? Okay. It's good. My beets are cold. Well. Often I make my, mine, is they're still warm. I don't know why, and that might be, that might sound freaky with a salad, but. Yeah, but. It's actually very good. How do you really describe it? It's a salad. It's a beet salad. It's, it's a good. salad. I need a little more vinaigrette here to see. That's good. That's it's very salady. Okay, I do have to admit, there's a lot of good things in there. There is. The green the beet beans, the, the beets, the, um, what is that? Walnut. Okay, it's a, that's a walnut? Okay. Candied walnut. Oh, it's a candied walnut? Enjoy. Oh, there you go. For here, the Mojo pork is gluten free. Islands of the Caribbean. Yeah. Islands of the Caribbean. That's actually, they actually gave you a lot that of food in this. That is a lot. There's some black beans, cilantro rice, and pickled red onions. That looks really good. It's good. I think I've had better pulled pork before. It's a little bit dry. Little dry? Not horribly. It's an average. Average. Mm -hmm. Only because of a little bit of dryness. But the quantity of food that you get is definitely a big plus. Okay, Active Eats. We finally have something for Val. We got the, uh, well, loaded mac and cheese, which sounds awesome. But uh, we got the roasted verlasso salmon. That one is gluten free, so we must get it. This is a roasted burlasso salmon. It comes with quinoa salad and arugula chimichurri. Chimichurri. How do you say that? Chimichurri? Not chimichanga. Not chimichanga. chimichanga. Oh, that's awesome. That's good. That's like a. Chimichurri. Exactly. Exactly. That's good. I really like that. It's good. At this point, we've eaten every gluten-free entree. Mm -hmm. We just only thing we have left is two gluten-free desserts. I, this has been fun. I've been having a good time here. And I'm gonna have more fun once we get to the two desserts. <laughs> and right here at Earth Eats, we've got the peanut butter and white chocolate mousse uh, served with caramel drizzle. That sounds awesome. Right, this one's going to be a hard one. So that's the dessert, our first, no, our second dessert. So what is this? Yeah, we had the creme brulee before. Yes, we this, did. Sorry. That sorry, was our, that was our lunchtime dessert. Yes, this is dinner dessert. This from Earth Eats is the peanut butter and white chocolate mousse. With nitro chocolate almond truffle. It's the uh, last gluten-free item on our list for today. That looks good. That is gluten-free. This is the liquid nitro chocolate almond truffle with warm whiskey caramel. Oh, it's good. Oh, good way to end the night. The center is all soft, but the outside is a frozen solid like chocolate shell. Perfect finale. So you want to know my favorite thing for the whole day? Right here. 
That's it. That was well worth the wait. Oh, wow. All right, so we did it. We did it. We did our whole challenge. You ate only gluten-free all day. And it was actually really good. Everything was really good. So I was I was scared that, you know, obviously you might get some funky tasting gluten-free stuff, but no. Everything was really fresh tasting. Most of the things were very fresh tasting. But yeah, oh, good times. Good flavors, good consistency. You weren't disappointed. Not disappointed at all. So yeah, if you are in the Orlando area, definitely check out the Food and Wine Festival at Epcot. And if you have restrictions like me, that you have to go gluten free, don't worry. Don't worry, there's tons. There's a lot for there's you. There's tons. We are done with our day at the um, Food and Wine Festival. Now we did a little bit of math. We had 21 items that we ate. Yep. Now if we just uh, you know arrange it saying it's uh, $5 an item. So we're like, what, 110 bucks? All day long of eating, only 110 bucks? Well worth it. All right, so that's it. We are gonna, we're just gonna go run over to Anna to what? Oh, the Magic Kingdom. That's where we're gonna go because there's a couple more hours at the Magic we Kingdom. We have more time, we have more so time. So we're just gonna head over there, but for this, we are done. So yeah, now back to your regularly scheduled program.